Hello, YouTubers, my subscribers. How y'all doing on this cold day? We've been shut. At least I've been shut in since Monday. And today is Wednesday. It's ice everywhere. Thank God it's not like it was two years ago. I do have electricity. But it's like uh, 28 degrees and it's been cold, cold, cold. My daughter-in-law bought me some cocoa wheat. What is really is cocoa cream of wheat. Let me see if I can show it to you. Yeah, cocoa cream of wheat. This will uh, satisfy me for the evening because I just really didn't buy groceries. I mean, there's food in there, but I don't feel like eating. I don't know what that is, but I, I feel like eating something easy like cream of wheat. Believe it or not, this is my first meal today. And it's like almost 7 o'clock. But I'm okay. I was thinking about the waiting room. And what goes on in the waiting room. And the mood of the people in the waiting room. And it just really depends on what waiting room you're in. I mean, if you're in the emergency room, that's a horrible, that's the worst place to be, to be waiting to me. And then if you're waiting at the, what is that, DMV, that's horrible too. Because everybody's there, that's there, they're not sick. They're in a rush to get what they want and go. But the emergency room... I don't know, you sit there and look at the next person and you kind of analyze your illness compared to their own. I said, well, sometimes I go there because I can't get my blood pressure down and some crazy stuff like that. But I think if you're bleeding and stuff, these people really need then dire straits. But the waiting room, to me, is like life. Sometimes you can sit in a waiting room and get to know people and, you know, just conversating. It's just a good, you know, it seems like you almost meet a friend. But when they call their name, this little friend you had for a moment, he's gone, gone about his business. And it's kind of like life, people you know and you meet. They just, when their number is called, they got to go. They name, brother. Kind of like uh, the Wizard of Oz. That story is... It should be the greatest story ever told because Dorothy and her adventure is really like life. She was in a dream, but it was so real. And she meet these people, and these people are people she know in her real life. That is so crazy. But she meet them, and they all in need of something. One needed a heart, one needed a brain, and what is this? The the lion. I forgot what, but he was scary. I forgot what he needed. He needed courage. That's what it was. But to me, that's the best story because it 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 you know tells us about life and. The, when they everybody wanted to see the wizard, we wanted to see the wizard. He could fix everything that's wrong with us if you just make it to the wizard. And they go to this land. I mean, they what is that? I don't know what the name of that little town is. But these little munchkins, they are happy. They singing and just going on. And then here come the bad witch. Everybody run. I don't know what that symbolizes. And then uh, Glenda Goodwitch comes and calms everything down because they the Munchkins know she's a good witch. But that uh, evil witch, she wanted those shoes and she was going to grab them. But Glenda fixed the way those shoes were on Dorothy's feet. So I guess the shoes symbolizes... I don't know, a way to travel and your way out with shoes. I dreamed about shoes one time. I had some weird dreams. And then I have to look up in the dream dictionary and see what the shoes symbolize. But Dorothy had these shoes on. 
and she didn't know uh, what the shoes meant. So a lot of us, we have these gifts. That's what the shoes were. Oh, I'm spilling this mouth. I'm uh, she had this gift, but she didn't realize what it was. And a lot of us have, uh, we do have gifts. And the majority of us, including me, don't know how to use them. So, to me, that's what that means. And then, Toto, the dog, it symbolized simplicity and obedience and love. This dog loved Dorothy. He was looking out for her. So, the dog ends up saying, it's ooh. That's my fentanyl patch, but you got to keep it on so you don't go crazy and be in pain. But that dog, <laughs> I like that part, when he pulls that curtain, and here's a, the wizard, he's making lightning, busy, pushing buttons and scaring the shit out of them people. So the dog pulls the curtain back, and a lot of times, out of the mouth of babes, the truth will come. And so, the dog showed the um, wizard behind the curtain pulling the strings. And to me, that symbolizes Christianity or whatever religion. It symbolizes religion. Because they pull a lot of strings. Mm, it's so good. To fool, fool the people. I didn't put, if you see my teeth losing up, I, I ain't put no paste in my bottom teeth. Shit. I mean, say shit, shoot. That stuff hurts when you're trying to take it out. Mm. But, that, 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 um, uh, wizard, he wasn't angry. He was kind of funny. You know, he, he knew he was caught. And he didn't make a, a scene about it. He was, but he was going to leave and get out of there. But to me, it seemed like circumstances, the way the world turns. It turns and turns and turns. And these fake people, fake religion, the curtains being pulled back. And we see, we see between their legs upside down, we see under their clothes. And all they can do is bow out and laugh and say, oh, well, next, because uh, P.T. Barnum says, suckers born every minute. So a lot of people make their mistakes, get over it, and punch, and get another one. Just keep on going. But that's what that means. But we all are sitting in a waiting room. And I guess you're supposed to enjoy yourself. That's what you, I, when I'm in a long, uh, a big waiting room, I try my best it depends on where I am. They don't go to the food stamp office. Oh, my God. You go there. They ought to have a second section for old people. Because you go there and wait. And uh, these women, Mexican women, black women, white women, they all come with 50 kids apiece. And, baby, they clown and cut up. And one of them was pulling on my leg. I said, honey, get this little bastard and put him up. Because he was, he was about to bite me. And people don't don't control their kids. I don't I don't even know why they bring them there. I guess to prove that they got kids. That's a terrible place to wait. I try my best not to go there. Anyway, they cut the foods that stamps down. Look like they would bring them up, don't it? But they cutting them down. So I don't get but probably seventy. I think seventy dollars worth of food stamps. But I'm thankful for what I got. These cocoa puffs. My daughter in law bought these on like a regular box of cream of wheat. It used to be two dollars or something. It went up to five dollars. The cocoa wheat puffs cost seventeen dollars. So I'm gonna eat this cereal and be happy and be thankful and make it be my my meal. Peas pirates cold, peas pirate hot, peas pirates in the pot, nine days old. We're still going to eat and be blessed. Mm. That's good. But don't you hate when you make cream of wheat and you get them lumps. Oh, my God. 
But I remember when we was coming up, there was lumps everywhere. I mean, big, crabby corners in, in the mall told me, I'm not, we ate it. But it looked like they didn't know how to make it, but it's a skill in making mild to me on cream of wheat without having the lumps. Well, this got a few lumps in it, but I'm going to lump on, lump on through it. Anyway, guys, y'all stay warm and stay out of the storm if you can. Blessings to everyone that's listening. Uh, please, uh, I never asked for this, but please do a thumb up when you come in. And subscribe, that'll help out. I don't know. I'm a long ways from any making a month making any money on this channel, but I don't know. Maybe one day. I don't have enough subscribers, but it'll happen. I'm just enjoying the idea of doing it. So I'm gonna finish my oatmeal, my mountain meal before it get cold. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.